you know, intimacy is, I think, a misunderstood word, mostly by men. I think by women as well sometimes uh, because they have expectations. But they, you tell me this. I think women just, they come out of the chute. They're just the genetic predisposition is understanding intimacy or is that true or am I just for yeah, sure? Well, I can't speak for all women. Um, I'll try to speak for myself and the women that I've had the privilege of working with and, and being friends with is that early on for me, I was able to define the word intimacy as into me see, into mm. me see. So in order to connect with other people, I needed to know who I was and I needed to know what mattered to me and what scared me and what lit me up and what fuck me up and all that kind of stuff is that it's where we're not able to share our deepest, darp deep, mm -hmm. deepest darkest. And I remember somebody saying to me once is that in order to be intimate, you, you need to be able to show up for yourself first and mm -hmm. others warts and all mm -hmm. warts and all like I got a shit ton of warts. And I, I think about, you know, the people that I've worked with over the years and, and even you and I, as we've worked through our stuff is that, there's layers of stuff that in our past that could stay hidden, but it also gets in the way of what we want to do in terms of connection, in terms of communication, mm -hmm. in terms of, I don't know, just like you say, living our best life and, and being kind and being grounded. Yeah. Well, let's, and, and when we look at the, what you just shared there, you know, that comes back to, you know, some level of authentic, authenticity, you know, or can you be authentic? And that's not to say that, any space you walk into, you, you always are there being authentic, but intimacy goes to the next level. And that means that putting yourself in an environment, you know, creating relationship, that's where intimacy lives. Having meaningful conversation is not something that you can have with just anybody because you are number one, exposing yourself. I think that could be number one. There's no point to it. I think it's a little dangerous, you know, uh, from a, from a conversational point of view, you may mess people up when you start and you show up that way. So intimacy is a very kind of private thing. In private, I mean, it's not broadcast out to the world. I don't know. Can you be really intimate in a big, you know, hey, you know you're sitting on the stage? I guess you could. You know, yeah. Jordan Peterson, we went to Jordan Peterson. Uh, we, we had uh, really cool tickets. Um, and he had a conversation with what a hundred people afterwards. You know, went from six thousand to a hundred people, and and it was a pretty intimate conversation. Patrick Bet David, uh, he did it. He was pretty intimate with a group of people. I think. What's your thoughts on that? You know, you really bring up a good point because I think where the vulnerability or the fear lives with most people is that if they feel that they're going to be intimate, it's going to make a lifelong decision, or they have to get married and you know forever and ever, amen. Mm -hmm. It's not that like for me, it's so I want to connect with people. And okay. in, in the past, I used to I used to really freak people out because my initial reaction is connection and mm -hmm. people would be scared about that. And they'd be like, she is way too deep and looking mm -hmm. at way too personal stuff. And I don't want to share that shit with her. I don't know what she's going to do with it. Yeah. What I realized is that where people will will shut down around intimacy is that they're scared to show who they are because they've been hurt. Mm -hmm. they've been hurt and people have taken the information or that intimacy yeah. and really used it against them. And that was never on my radar. I mean, I was raised in a family where you got to bring your stuff and your best self and your worst shit to the dinner table and clear it up and talk it out so that you can go out and be the best self in your out, out in the world. That's mm -hmm. not normal. I had to mm -hmm. unlearn that with certain people, especially as an adult on stage. It's different. With my clients, it's different. I get it. I can find a, a way of being intimate by being authentic myself, but not demanding that from somebody else or not requesting that from somebody else because some people just aren't ready to just lift their kilt, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's start by defining it. I mean, we often do uh, that. I, I like to kind of give it a foundation. So if we define intimacy, you know, based on some version of, I don't know, dictionary. It is that intimacy, regardless of gender, 
refers to the close and deep connection between individuals in a relationship. There. Now, there's a key point that I just want to not step over in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So it involves emotional, physical, and often intellectual or spiritual closeness. It's essential to recognize that intimacy is a universal human need and experience. And his definition doesn't actually signify uh, or it isn't based on gender. So having said all of that, the way individuals perceive and express intimacy can actually be quite different from person to person, you know, and that could be based on cultural differences. And I think that's an interesting one. We see that culturally, that intimacy is different. And uh, social and, of course, personal factors play into intimacy. So when we look at intimacy from a definition point of view, it is about relationship. Uh, we have to make sure, and it is actually a human need. We need intimacy at some level. And so lack of intimacy in somebody's life can really uh, show up or manifest into different ways in terms of how we behave or how we hide emotions or how we're not emotional or how we're overly emotional. And so mm -hmm. There are indicators, for example, if you're lacking intimacy. We can break those down if you want, but uh, what's your thoughts so far? Oh, man. Like, it, this is such a big topic. And I realize that when I look at myself and my need for connection and my ability to tell the truth about that, is I would rather have that connection with somebody and drop my guard and risk somebody hurting me than not having that connection with and, 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 feeling that connection of intimacy. I don't know. This is this is hard for me because I look at my clients, I look at my skaters, I look at how you and I communicate. I look at how our chosen family communicates. That's what I want in my life. It doesn't mean that everybody has to go down that path and we have to go super deep with everybody. And sometimes yeah, it's just yeah. a superficial conversation. But the truth mm -hmm. is somewhere in our lives, we need as human beings, one of our highest drivers is connection. Mm -hmm.